Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm definitely doing something a little bit different and something I think a lot of you guys will definitely never have seen before on YouTube. Um, and that is I'm targeting Tench using small soft plastic laws. Now, Tench do sometimes get caught on laws and it tends to be by accident when people are targeting perch, slow jigging, hopping on the bottom. On the off chance, sometimes um, these non necessarily predatory fish will pick up one of these baits. But not many people specifically target them, so it's very, very difficult to do. And I'm doing that today. I'm using some very, very small baits. You can probably see on the end of my eye there, little tiny soft plastic nymph baits with my super ultra light um, 0.3 to 2.5 Caribus Nano. And fingers crossed we're gonna try and get one. I'm only fishing a three pound leader. We're in super finesse style for these fish. And fingers crossed I'll be able to get one today. I've tried in the past and I failed miserably on more than a few occasions, let's put it that way, trying to get Tench to take laws. Um, but I know it is possible. My brother did do it not too long ago, actually, maybe a couple of years ago, he managed to, to stalk one using a small soft plastic bait. And I really want to do it myself. Conditions absolutely perfect. Got a bit of overcast, bit of sunlight coming through. Canal's nice and clear. We're probably going to catch rudd today, perch, probably the odd bream, but our focus is the Tench. So let's crack on and hopefully get one, two, maybe three on the bank, you never know. There's a tench uh, bream feeding right down there. It's not really what I was after. I want a tench, but I'll take a nice bream. And a micro jig any day. Got it, we got it. Easy. Oh, I left my net behind me. That's the worst decision when fishing tiny micro jigs. <laughs> What a, what a bream. Oh, proper stonking bream. Really nice fish. Really nicely hooked. I'm not gonna show them to the big camera because my session has just started, honestly. That's within the first, maybe six casts. It's a bream of about three pound plus anyway. And a little tiny micro jig. Slipping back. Let's see if we can get a tench, which is the main game of today. Main aim of today, should I say. Okay, I wish you'd just swim out like a normal fish. There we go. Beauty though, good start. Might have been a bit bigger than I thought, actually, maybe three and a half. Fantastic start to the session. Tench has just come shooting past me. It's definitely not in feed mode, but. What do I ever try? Oh, good damn perch. You always get in the way. There's these little ones when you have to big fish. Just come down there. God damn it. Definitely spoot now. Screw it. There's lots of little perch and rudd and stuff around here. I'm not going to get that tench, but I can definitely get those little rudd. Aggressive little things. Another little perch. Loads of little dinky perch about. You ready? I'll get another one in a minute. Another one. Go out play one of the smallest perch I've ever caught. Because that's a good and bad thing about using micro jigs. You really can catch fish of any size. You could get big bream, you could get carp, big pike, or you could get a tiny little dinky perch. There's literally a tench feed in the margin, right there. He's still there. Yep, there we go.
Damn it, we missed our chances. That was so close. He genuinely went down and tried to grab it. And he, I think he must have just missed. Or he grabbed it, but a bit was stuck in the weed. I'm ready. Should we get one? God, see that jumped out of the water. Oh, that should thought it was a trout. Should we get another one? Maybe a rod. Rod. Catch you later. So it's going sort of well so far. I'm catching fish. I've had a bit of everything, you know, chub, perch, rod, uh, bream, you name it. Uh, but not yet a tench, obviously quite elusive when it comes to the style of fishing. But I think it's about time that I go through my setup and the rig that I'm using because I'm going to show you something now that could be invaluable to your micro jigging. Um, so the setup that I'm using, obviously you've seen it before, it's one of my favourite setups for super ultralight jigging, Caravis Nano, 0.3 to 2.5 gram, super ultralight rod, really flexible, loads of give to it, it allows you to use really, really light lines and do a really finesse style of fishing. Uh, paired up with the Abu Garcia Superior 1000 size, that's got the brand new Berkeley Sick Braid on there, that I loaded up back when I, the trout season opened, fantastic stuff. And then we go down to the end of the rig, which is the most important bit and the most interesting bit, I think, for this style of fishing. Now, you can get micro jigs, micro jig heads for this kind of fishing. Sometimes it can be quite hard to get a hold of, and obviously if you lose them, um, it can be a pain in the bum trying to buy some more or source some more. But what you can do is, you can use split shot and use any other standard hook, but that can weaken your line. Um, now, I've got a neat little trick that I don't see anybody else doing, which I think is crucial to my micro jigging now. And if you look at that there, um, I've actually got a small piece of tungsten putty, what you use in carp angling. And the good thing about using tungsten putty is you can use whatever size hook you want. You can use a size 10 like I'm using now, a size 12, 14, 16, 18, if you really want to go super micro with your baits. Um, and all you need to do is put a bit of tungsten putty around the eye of the hook. And what that does is it streamlines the whole thing and it becomes part of your soft plastic bait. So it covers the eye, it covers the knot. You can mold it around to a shape you want like this, a bit of an oval shape or a bit of a pear shape so that it becomes part of your bait as opposed to just one big shiny round jig head um, and then the bait hanging off it. It's really nice and it suits the bait so well and it's perfect for when you're targeting wary fish like tench that shouldn't really be going for laws. If you finesse your rig so much, three pound fluorocarbon, bit of tungsten putty around there, and your soft plastic bait, that can be the key um, to getting those shy biting fish to take the bait. And also a great benefit to using tungsten putty is, um, if you want to change the weight, you can just pull some weight off there. If you want to make it really light for casting onto the surface for a little chub and rud. And if you want to get it right down to the bottom fast for the tench and get it away from the small fish, you can just add some more on there absolute perfect little trick and i imagine a lot of people will be using this after this video so remember it was my idea i came up with it first <laughs> without further ado let's crack on find some tench hopefully get one on the bank We got one, we got a tench. Oh, it's a big one. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's a big tench too. On ultralight jig. Oh, I've just cast out of that spot and had a tiny perch. I'm on three pound line. I had a tiny little perch. And then I cast out again and you could see it move towards where my bait was. I felt a slight tap. Oh boy, I'm so nervous. I felt a slight tap. Lifted into it thinking it must be another little perch that's taken it. And now it is a nice tension. Oh, I'm so nervous right now. 
the snags and stuff down there. Fishing a 0 0.2 gram rod, is it 0 0.2 to, to 2 gram? That's a good size tench. Oh, I'm so nervous right now. Little micro jig. With a size 10 hook on it. Oh my god, look at that rod bend. Look at that rod bend. Three pound line, three pound fluorocarbon leader. I think I like fishing mono actually. Oh god, I can't stop it. This will be a first for me and a real bucket list. Fish to catch on a law, a tench. I'm so nervous right now. Come on, come on, come on. God, super ultralight rod and a good size canal tench. Wild canal tench, come on, please. I, God, I can't stop it. I was about to say whose idea was this, but it was clearly my idea. This is what I've been wanting to do for a long time. I've had four or five tench, well, probably being a bit exaggerated. I've had uh, maybe three or four tench show interest, either come towards the bait or try and take it. This is the first one that's actually properly taken it. Please let me land it. Please. Please. Please, please. No. I need this fish. Honestly, I've had several sessions trying this in the past, focusing on using micro jigs to try and catch tench, and it's never happened. I've come very close. I've had fish take the bait. I've never hooked, and this is the first one I've ever hooked uh, tench on a micro jig. We landed it, oh my god, it happened, it happened and it's a great fish too. Let's straight away take a look at the jig in its mouth. Oh, there it is, there it is, there's a micro jig. <laughs> That's a tinge of probably, maybe five pound. I'm, oh god, I can't speak then. Um, I've not brought any scales on me, but that is a stonking tinge. <laughs> yes. Oh, sometimes I come out, I come out throw, filming a few different types of videos, but nine times out of ten, it's stuff that I just think you guys are going to enjoy. It's not necessarily always stuff that I want to do 100%, it's just stuff that's maybe seasonal, or stuff that I think is going to do well. But this is something for me, this was for me. I don't think this video is going to do particularly well when I'm targeting 10, I don't particularly get very many views on those videos. This was for me, this is for my own personal... Um, bucket list and I've gone and done it and that is awesome. I can see some tension moving out there now. I might have to move this fish away so I don't spook those ones. That's probably one of the biggest tension I've ever caught out of this canal too. And on a micro jig. That's insane. I'm going to move this fish well away. As you can see I'm doing it safely just holding the fish over the bank. It's getting in front of these trees here and away from a couple other fish because I might actually have another chance. That is so freaking cool. Probably one of the best looking canal tench I've ever caught. Definitely the most rewarding. Probably a tench of between four and a half and five pound. Probably about five pound ish. I wish I had my scales to weigh it, but you guys know me. I never like to take my scales with me. Um, today I was out targeting tench um, on micro jig, something I've done a few times before and it's ne never ever happened. It's just ended up being an enjoyable micro jigging session. And today it all came together, and I'm glad I did. What a fantastic specimen. And that has made this session absolute beauty. What a fight on the super ultra light. 0.1 gram rod. That's insane. Let's get it back.
10 swimming past me right here. I to take my bait a couple of times then. Got it, we got another tench. We got another tench. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I was just on my way home as well. Second tench on the law. And he's, he's being a dopey one. I need to get my net. Definitely not as big as the first one. Still awesome. He's gonna liven up now, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, I can't believe how easy that fish was to land. Sure, he's not a huge, but he's in great condition. Another one on the creature bait. Let's lift up and show you guys. <laughs> that is so cool. I think I'm definitely a lot happier with the fight he gave me. The, the other one's fight was definitely a lot more exciting. Um, but this was a lot easier to deal with. <laughs> there was so much weed down there. If you wanted to, you could have just absolutely ruined me. But instead, he just he tried to have a run at first and then just chilled out. Oh, well, I almost can't believe that. I packed up and was heading home pretty much. And I saw, I knew there was an area on the way home which I knew had bream, where I've caught bream on laws loads of times. I thought I'd hit it, had a few mistakes from Breen, and then I saw this little guy shooting down the margin. I had one cast for him, he tried to get the bait, but unfortunately my bait was stuck in the weed, I struck and missed it. Straight back out again, I got caught on the weed again, and this fish rose up off the bottom, about a foot off the bottom, and grabbed my bait off from the weed, which is crazy, which shows you, you can actually chase down and hunt prey. It's, they're not just getting an opportunistic little bug that's hopping along the bottom. This fish rose up to take that bait. That is so cool. Definitely not as big as the first one, maybe only maybe about three pound. But still, awesome on a law. Tinch on laws, eh? Absolutely awesome. Let's get this one back. Well, that was certainly an enjoyable session. I can't say there's many super ultra light jigging sessions that I don't enjoy, um, but this one was really special getting my first tench, well, not only my first tench on the super ultra light setup um, and micro jigs, but my second tench, and I also lost an eel. And if I'd have managed to land the eel, then that would have been a new species ticked off uh, catching on laws as well. So it's been so much fun. If you want to check out the setup that I've used today, I'll leave it all in the description below. Uh, rod, reel, line, things like that. Um, if you want to subscribe, feel free. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. So it'd be great when I hit that, hopefully this year. Um, if you like the video, don't forget to like it. If you want to see more content just like this one, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you guys for watching.